Sleeping on the rooftop, I dreamt of the starry sky in the pitch black darkness. Uh, are you up? Uh, oda san? Why are you here? I, I just happened to come here and saw you sleeping, Amano. So I woke you up. That's all. Thank you. Uh, how come your face is all red? It's nothing. We have to get back to class. Oh, uh, sure. It gets restless during lunch break. Because Gyarus gather around Yuka Oda, who sits next to me. Who do you like, Yuka? You like someone, right? Tell us about him. That's a secret. What? Don't keep it a secret. How could they talk about such a thing in the middle of the classroom? Uh, I can't understand how these Gyaru's minds work. I know. It's a senpai in the 12th grade, isn't it? Or that university student who spoke to you in town the other day. Well, you're both wrong. Anyway, I'm sure it's not an introvert like him. Whoa! You always look so tired. Why do you stay up so late? Hey, you two. Don't tease Amano too much. Why do they tease me so much? It's just so restless in the classroom. That's why the rooftop is the best place to take a nap, because no one bothers you. I dreamt of the starry sky in the pitch black darkness yesterday. Today's dream is, huh? Hot pink hearts? <sighs> hey, it's too early to wake up. Uh, what are you doing, Oda-san? Well, nothing. Did you come to wake me up again today? I was just watching your silly face. Doesn't she have anything else to do? Uh, don't be late for the next class. Uh, uh, oh, okay. She's a Gyaru, but she's serious. Or is she a serious Gyaru? She's hard to read. Anyway, I don't understand her much, but she's nice to me. Unlike other Gyaru, she doesn't make fun of me for being an introvert. She's unexpectedly earnest. I have to get rid of my stereotype for Gyarus. The next day... Oh no. Why am I waiting for Oda-san to come and wake me up? I was gonna take a nap at the rooftop as usual, but I couldn't go to sleep. Thinking about Oda-san. Then, all of a sudden, it got dark. I, I can feel someone's here. Someone's looking into my face. He's so cute when he's sleeping. What? His voice? It, it's Oda-san? Let me touch his cheek. Here. Here. Oh, she's poking my cheek. I completely lost a chance to wake up, and I learned one thing then. Has she been playing pranks like this on me while I was sleeping? That doesn't make me feel happy, but I don't think she meant any harm. It's Oda-san, after all, or, or does she? I don't know. He's not waking up at all. He won't notice even if I kiss him on the cheek, right? What? What is she talking about? Just a little. Only for a little... So it's okay, right? Then why is she talking like a little baby? I looked the other way to avoid her. Still pretending to be asleep. I think it was a clever move. Boo. I was almost there. So she was seriously gonna kiss me? I couldn't read her mind at all, and she wouldn't give up, so it made me even more freaked out. Playing pranks while I'm sleeping and trying to kiss me on the cheek? Does she think of me as a huge baby? Maybe Oda-san likes to play mother and baby. <gasps> what if she thinks of me as a baby and has been doing whatever she wanted to me? That makes me confused. Because I, I, I'm just a normal guy. There is no need to play stuff like that in the real world. Hey, introvert. What kind of naughty things are you thinking about? What? I, I am not. Really? Anyway, we have pee next, so I can borrow your pee clothes. Huh? Why do you want to borrow mine? Why not? It's not as if I'm asking you to give them to me. That's right. You want pee clothes with the smell and sweat of a high school girl, don't you? N no. What is it, Yuka? Amano seems troubled. You can borrow my pee clothes. Well, yours are too small. Just use mine and go! 
Oda-san forced her PE clothes on her friends and made them leave the classroom. Th that was close? Jeez, Amano. Y yes You keep your guard down too much. You shouldn't do that in front of others, but save that for... Not in front of others? Wait, what? So I'm telling you not to keep your guard down! Oh, oh, oh okay, I'm... sorry? Why is she angry at me? And you shouldn't lend your pee clothes, especially to girls. Other things too! Oh, okay? But they're my stuff. Why is she telling this to me? I really don't understand her. I don't know why she's so upset. First of all, why does she always mess with me? That's all I have to say. But I'm not trying to be overprotective or anything. I'm not trying to act like your girlfriend. I'm not thinking anything like that. Oda-san. I was thinking about her while lying in bed. She's a gyaru, but she's serious and pretty. And she plays tricks on me while I'm sleeping. I still have no idea about her baby play. Maybe she thinks of me as a big baby. <sighs> I really don't understand what the sun. Also, what was she talking about with her friends the other day? Who does she like? I wasn't feeling well from lack of sleep the next day. Hey, are you okay, Amano? Uh, yeah. Amano, you, you look pale. You didn't get enough sleep last night? N no. If you're feeling sick, you should go to the nurse's office. Tell the nurse why you're there. All right. I couldn't sleep at all. I was thinking about Oda-san all night. Uh, of course I couldn't tell the truth, so I said that I was playing video games until late and asked to get some rest. I laid down on the bed, but I couldn't sleep. I just stayed in bed, looking up at the ceiling. After a while, class was over and it was recess. Amano, are you there? Are you okay? I heard Oda-san's voice. I closed my eyes immediately and pretended to be asleep. It feels... awkward to see her today. I hope nothing's gonna happen. He's asleep. He's cute when he's asleep. But his cheeks are so cute. No, oh, she can be so ruthless. Don't take pictures without asking. <laughs> He's not waking up at all, so I'm gonna do the usual. What the heck is the usual? And it became dark. I, I think I've had this feeling before. I felt her put her feet on the sides of my ears. And I knew for certain. Wow! Is Oda-san standing over me right now? He never wakes up. If he does, he could see me in this embarrassing posture. So if I open my eyes now... Oh no! Does she know that I'm just pretending to be asleep? I I is she flirting with me? Confusion, excitement, chaos, dreams, hopes, and expectations! I had no idea she was playing this kind of trick on me. Does this mean that the starry sky and pitch black darkness and hot pink hearts were... not actually my dreams? How can he be so dull? It's so funny that he doesn't wake up when I'm doing this to him. Boo! This is getting frustrating! So she was making fun of me for being an introvert? She's probably trying to provoke me! Or that I'm just pretending to be asleep. Um... Yes? What is it? What? I've been up for a while. What are you doing, Oda-san? Ah, Amano! I, I was just... And I can see everything. You were awake? Did you see? Uh, that's what I told you. Today, they're the blue and white flag of Argentina, aren't they? I didn't see Sol de Mayo, though. What do you mean by today? Then you have... Th what the heck are you doing? Nothing! Why did you open your eyes? It doesn't work if you open your eyes. How does it work? Anyway, I'm sorry for playing a weird trick on you. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I I just want to know the reason why you did that. And Oda-san hesitantly started talking. I sometimes fantasize how you would react. Huh? I want you to see, but I don't want you to see. I, I don't understand at all. If you want to do something like that, why don't you do it someplace else? 
It has to be you. Why? Anyway, you've seen me. Oh no, what should I do? What should I know? I just don't understand her. Let me see yours too. Huh? Why? We can be even. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not fair that you've only seen mine. It's not a matter of being fair or not. It, it stop pulling on my pants. Just a little. Just a little. Well, you can't pull them anymore. You, you, you can almost see them. Hey, you guys. Oh. Uh, do that somewhere else. No, what are you guys doing? He saw my panties. Th that's not true. She showed me hers, and she forced me to. Well, if you guys are feeling well, can you just leave? And we were thrown out of the nurse's office. Next day during lunch break, I went up to the rooftop and... Huh? There was someone unexpected there, sleeping with her arms and legs sprawled out. Um, Oda-san? <sighs> She's obviously not sleeping. Um, what are you doing? She doesn't wake up even when I speak to her. Hmm. It must be a new prank. She's being too defenseless. And I got an idea. She's not trying to play a prank on me. She's waiting for me to play a prank on her. I don't have to take her bait so easily. But remembering yesterday's incident and all the other pranks she's played on me, I was feeling a little naughty. She's not waking up. Then maybe I'll play a prank on her. Uh... You're not waking up, so you can't say anything no matter what I do to you. Oh, I remember you saying something about kissing on the cheek before. It seems as if you're not waking up, so I'll just... Uh... My face got closer to Oda-san, and... Here! <laughs> Hmm, it's different from what I expected. What are you doing? I'm just getting back at you for all the silly things you've done to me. That just made you look silly. Hey, stop making me look silly. This is embarrassing. Well, it wasn't as silly as I thought it would be. Uh-huh. You looked cute. C cute? But your silly face was silly. Hey. <laughs> the bell rang then. I tried to get away from Oda-san with her face all blushed, but... D d hey, Oda-san! Don't jump on my back so suddenly! You can't just leave me! Just go all the way to the classroom like this! What? That can be... too dangerous, and I can see stuff on my back. You don't actually have to say that, idiot! She really is a bit strange. I don't understand much about her, and I have no idea what she expects me to do. But she can be unexpectedly interesting. And pretty as well. I wish I could go out with someone like her. Ugh, I'm so tired. I came home late from work as usual. I was especially exhausted that day. <sighs> oh, hey Shizuka. Huh. Oh, okay then. Shizuka is my stepsister. My dad got remarried six years ago, and she's the daughter of his wife. She's always been that way, and since we're close in age, it's been a little rough. Even after six years, we haven't gotten along. Hmm? Where are they? They're on their anniversary trip for the next four days. Didn't you hear? Uh, no. Of course. You don't care about this family. It's not like that. I'm just really busy with work. Yeah, that's the typical response for men who will make their wives sad in the future. Uh... Shizuka has always been cold to me like that. I feel like it's gotten worse since I started working. Ugh. He never spends time with me anymore. To be honest, I don't think I'll be able to get along with her, but I actually really like her. Of course, it helps that she's so beautiful that anyone would fall for her. But as much as she acts like she doesn't care, she is very nice. When I had a fever, she took care of me all day every day. I've liked her ever since. But I have my reservations about her also. I have plans for dinner with some college friends tomorrow night, so find something to eat for yourself. Oh, okay. Have fun. 
You better not bring a woman over just because I'm not here. I would never. What are you talking about? Uh, Ugh, she doesn't trust me at all. I don't care who you flirt with at all. Yeah, I kind of figured. Hmm. Wait, what? Why are you upset because of that? I continued eating my food while my stepsister continued being clearly upset. However, I came to find out why she was so upset by this later on. The next day... Uh... Shizuka, what's going on? Your face is super red. I see two of you. <laughs> Wait, are you drunk? Why are there two of you? <laughs> There's one of me. This isn't the Shizuka I know. Where did the cool, calm, and collected Shizuka go? This is how she is when she's drunk? Uh, uh, oh, you're the girl that comes over sometimes. Oh, you remembered me. Yeah, it's been a second. So, what's going on? Um, you might not believe me, but she only had a single drink at the hotel we were eating at. What? Yeah, I wouldn't believe it either. But she said she never drank before, so we offered her a single drink. And this is what happened. Shizuka's friend probably never could have guessed that one drink would have made her this drunk. She was really shaken up, and I felt kind of bad. Yeah, there are people who can get drunk off the smell of alcohol, it happens. Honestly, Shizuka looked like she would handle alcohol well, too. You really are a good stepbrother. Hmm? Oh, uh, I'm gonna go now. Take care, Shizuka. Hey, wait! And she's gone. They're not home yet, so I don't know how to handle her. Oh. Why are you acting that way? You love me alone! You started caring about the other girl and stopped caring about me! Whoa, hey, calm down. <laughs> Who is this little attention seeker? Is this really Shizuka? I should try to get her to bed. Y you need to go to sleep. Come on. Dad, I need to go. Huh? Carry me. Huh? Carry me. I'm not going anywhere unless you carry me. Why do I have to carry you? Because I said so. <laughs> oh, she's way too drunk. This is like dealing with a toddler. Come on, Shizuka. Stop being funny and let's go. If I carry her, I can only imagine the kind of things she'll call me when she's sober tomorrow. Ugh, oh, just imagining it gives me chills. I can't listen to her. But I honestly wouldn't mind carrying her with how cute she's being. Huh! Then give me a piggyback ride! The hey! Shizuka! Stop! Let go! There's something soft pushed up on my back. I'm not going to bed unless you give me a piggyback ride! Okay, okay. Stop moving around. I knew I would have a tough time keeping myself calm, so I decided to take her to bed and quickly let her sleep. <laughs> Drunk Shizuka didn't have a care in the world about how I felt. I wanted someone to do something about this strange feeling I had. Also, I now knew I needed to be careful when Shizuka was going to drink. I don't want some stranger doing something funny when she's drunk. All right, Shizuka, we're at the bed. Go to sleep, okay? Mm. Looking at her now, she really does look young. Is this how much work it can expect from a kid in the future? All right, I'm gonna go now. No. Huh? You're going to sleep too. No. I quietly thought to myself about what just happened before barely containing myself. I felt like I passed up on an incredible chance but I didn't want to take advantage of a drunk person. Huh! You're going to sleep! Whoa! Shizuka! I was taken off guard. I couldn't react in time and ended up falling onto the bed. <laughs> Seriously, this is way too close, even for step-siblings. Shizuka, let go. <sighs> Snoring? How can you sleep in a situation like this? You were just wide awake. I could hear Shizuka breathing quietly in her sleep. Being drunk can be terrifying. I could never imagine falling asleep in a situation like this. I need to get out of this spot, but her hand is around my neck. Getting out without waking her is going to be difficult. I felt the soft skin on her arm against me, and I lost any idea of what to do. Are you awake? I don't accept her as your girlfriend, just because she's a little older. Doesn't mean you'll get to move on from me. Just sleep talking, I guess. 
What are you even dreaming about? I'm the only one that's good enough for you. Huh? You always look around at other girls. You dummy. Uh, what's going on? Has Shizuka always been jealous? Maybe because her brother is playing with other girls instead of her. But I haven't even played around with girls like she says. <sighs> Shizuka. While she was sound asleep, I was anything but calm. Hmm? Morning? Huh? Oh. What time did I go to bed yesterday? Uh... Why is it so warm? <laughs> ah! oh, what are you doing? Yeah, this is not at all what it looks like. How could you invade your stepsister's private space like that? You will be held accountable! Calm down! This is a misunderstanding! You put your hands on me, so of course you need to be held accountable! Yeah, um... Hmm... Is it normal to talk about accountability when it comes to stuff like this? Shouldn't she call the police or something? I need to contact mom and dad to make sure you can't run away. Well, wait, that's not a good idea. Seriously. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you get away like that. You're gonna have to be held accountable and get married to me. Wait, wait, wait. You're moving way too quickly. Why would we get married? That's what's called taking responsibility. Uh, I haven't really gotten into it with her before. But she's someone who can be stubborn in her beliefs. Are you listening? Uh, yeah. Do you remember going out to drink with your friends last night? Huh? I realized that there's no point in trying to convince her at this point, so I decided to try a different way. You don't remember? No, I remember trying to have dinner with them. She was slightly unsure of her answer. If she really didn't remember drinking, she would completely deny it. The fact that she's unsure means that she remembers something. Why don't we ask your friends? You got drunk and one of your friends took you home last night. That's not possible! Maybe you have a text from your friend? She seemed loyal, so I'm sure she's worried about you. Uh, Sorry about last night. I didn't expect you to get so drunk off one cocktail. Let's drink juice together next time, okay? Also, I kind of bothered your brother, so can you tell him I'm sorry? Your brother was actually really kind. He was taking good care of you when you were drunk. I can understand why you like him. Uh, oh. Shizuka, what happened? I am so embarrassed. Oh, I just want to disappear. I guess I was right. Her friend had texted her. By the way she's acting, she probably told her at least some of what happened. You don't understand. I really don't remember doing any of this. I didn't think that Shizu... I could possibly do this. To be fair, you were pretty wasted. Ugh. Shizuka is cute in a different way today. She always seemed like a grown-up woman. But now, she seems like an immature little girl. This is cute too. There's nothing you can do if you get too drunk. Apparently, you got drunk off one cocktail. It happens. I don't think anyone would expect you to get wasted from that. She's actually incredibly unique, but there's no point in telling her that. If she doesn't mind not drinking, I'd like her to refrain. If she does drink, I hope she drinks at home, where I am. You're not mad? <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm not that quick to get angry. I was preparing myself for this since last night anyway. I kept the last thought to myself and smiled at Shizuka. Uh... Shizuka? Why is she sitting next to me? <laughs> Whoa, Sh Shizuka, what are you doing? If I already embarrassed myself, I should be able to do whatever I want. Are you just throwing it all in the wind now? No, I've just decided for myself. And what did you decide exactly? I've decided to ask you to spoil me. Asked to be spoiled? I know I probably showed you some very embarrassing moments last night. If I did, I might as well just let you spoil me. Yeah, I don't really understand, but I guess she wants to be spoiled. So, I guess you want this? <sighs> huh? I just patted her head and she's already melting. She didn't drink again, did she? You're a little dog, aren't you? Patting your sister's head like that? She teased me but her behavior didn't match what she was saying. Should I stop? No. If you do, I'll be upset. I won't make you dinner anymore. 
Teasing her a little made her upset. She really isn't honest with herself, is she? That's cute too, though. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you really like being spoiled, don't you? I thought it was the alcohol speaking. <laughs> hey, calm down. You're so mean. How could you humiliate me like that? I didn't think it would be that serious. I need you to just take responsibility and marry me. Why do you keep bringing that up? Oh. Why are you making that face? You really are kind of immature, aren't you? Is it that bad? Nah, I think it's kind of cute. I said calm down. It's your fault for saying things like that. Maybe she had reached her limit. She was sounding like a child, but it was so cute. I'm sorry. I'm not teasing you. Uh-huh. Are you asking me to spoil you because I'm your big brother? Uh-huh. I like you, Shizuka. Uh -huh. I don't mean as family. I mean as a woman. Sorry for confusing you. I just wanted you to know how I felt. And I want to know how you feel too. If I'm not reading this wrong, her feelings for me aren't just as step-siblings either. But it's possible that maybe she only sees me as a brother. So I had to find out for sure. Otherwise, I could have mistaken the atmosphere. Plus, I just wanted to know how she felt. I... I... Don't sweat it. Go at your own pace, okay? It's not good to make her rush here. I need to wait and let her organize her thoughts for me. Yeah, I like you. I've always liked you as a man. I'm so glad to hear that. Will you go out with me? Of course, if you'll have me. Definitely. I want you. Let's have fun together. Yes, but... What's wrong? Will our parents approve, you know, siblings dating? It's fine. Step-siblings can even get married. Marriage? Yeah, so I don't think they'll say no. Even if they disagree, I'll keep convincing them until they understand. I won't give up on us, because that's how much I like you. Even if everyone around us didn't approve, we have to keep trying until they're convinced. I didn't want to break apart our feelings. We told our parents as soon as they got back that we had started dating. Our parents approved very much, and we started living a new life together. But that's a different story. I'm currently enjoying my time dating this cool but spoiled little sister. My name is Ryoma Masoka, an 11th grade high school student. I have a wife. Ryoma, I think it's about time for us to have a baby. Her name is Shiki Ozawa. People call her the cutest girl in our school. Maybe you're right. Should we have one right now? Yes. Uh, which do you want? A boy or a girl? Why don't we go for a girl? Why is the school queen having my baby? Everything began three months ago. Shiki and I are classmates, but... Shiki, I heard you got great grades again. Why did you decline the offer to work as a model? That's such a waste. Shiki was always being surrounded by the popular kids. On the other hand, that game's getting an update next month, huh? Makes sense. The balancing was terrible. I was always alone in the corner of our classroom, doing things on my phone. Naturally, Shiki and I never spoke to each other. Not only Shiki, but I generally didn't hang out with anyone. Nobody bothered me, and I was able to live a lonely but peaceful life. But that doesn't mean I was always completely alone. When it comes to the online world, I'm a gaming YouTuber with 10,000 followers from various countries. I went with the handle name Masaroya Shika, and I made my money from gaming online. I had three online girlfriends, and I was pretty content with my life. However, one day, Shiki suddenly came over to me in the classroom and began talking to me. Um, Masoka-kun, where are you going to choose to go for the next social studies field trip? Why are you asking such a question all of a sudden? Why would it matter to you? It matters because our teacher told me to ask everyone because I'm the class representative. I didn't want to tell her, so... Alright. Can I just tell the teacher directly? Okay, um, uh, sorry for disturbing you. Shiki didn't seem happy with my answer, but she went back to her friend's place. Shiki, what were you talking about with that guy? Mm -hmm. 
Not much. A anyways, when I was at home yesterday... Honestly, I didn't know how to react. I have so much social anxiety. What happened to that guy in 12th grade who asked you out on a date? Well, you see, I don't really have much time on weekends, so... Huh? So you're going to turn him down? That's such a waste! I wonder if those girls ever get tired of talking to each other. Well, I guess they're used to it. A few days later, I was enjoying my life on the internet as usual, and I had bought a new game. It was a fighting game, which you could play with people from all around the world. I was hooked on it from the get-go, and I became one of the highest-ranked players within Japan. And finally, I beat a player named Seasons and became the third best player in Japan. However, Seasons probably didn't like the fact that I was better than them. They kept challenging me over and over. We began sending messages to each other and found out that we were living in the same town. And we decided to meet each other in real life. However, the person who showed up was... Huh? Masaoka-kun? Uh, why are you here? You? Could she be Seasons? No. That can't be possible. Wait, are you Masaryoshka? Huh? Does that mean you are Seasons? Now I see! Her name, Shiki, could be translated into English as Seasons! How did I not notice? But that's not important anymore. Once she realized that I was Masaryoshka, Shiki let out a big sigh. <sighs> oh my god, I can't believe that you're Masaryoshka. This is so sad. What do you mean? I mean, I'm upset. Masaryoshka is considered the best player in so many online games, and you're him? Am I supposed to be sorry for that? Oh my god. I thought it would be some amazing guy, but it's just you. She must be sad that it was a dark and gloomy loner in her own class. She must really hate me. That's what you get on the internet. Unpopular people in real life can be famous on the internet. And I'm shocked by that. The person who I admired so much was you. Anyways, I'm leaving now. See you. She was being so rude and selfish. I wasn't having it at all. Well, don't forget that I'm also shocked that you were Seasons. What did you say? I thought Seasons was a calm and analytical player who put a lot of thought into their strategies. I had so much respect for Seasons for always giving their best for any opponent, but you don't do that in real life, huh? I never would have thought that they would be the type of person who would act so rudely and selfishly when they noticed their favorite player was the unpopular guy at school. I'm not shocked because you are unpopular. I'm shocked because you are a loser. Huh? I'm a loser? You spend so much time on the internet in order to escape from reality. So what? Is it wrong to enjoy being on the internet? Are you saying that you're better than me just because you're enjoying real life more than me? At least I put in enough effort to be able to enjoy both the real world and the internet world. What? So you're saying you're better than me because you're good at both? Such a lame argument. But it's true that you don't have the right to deny people enjoying their lives offline when you can only enjoy being online. I'm not denying anyone the right to have fun offline. I'm just saying that you're doing a halfway job for both. Huh? I'm doing great at both. No, you're not. Losing against me is proof. And you're never gonna beat me online. How can you say that? If I put in a little more effort... You probably never even told your friends you're an actual gamer, huh? So what? Is that a problem? I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm saying that a person who hides their true self and can't admit what they love will never succeed. If you think so, I don't give it a try. I feel like I'm gonna beat you today. We already know that I'm going to win. There's no point. Are you going to chicken out like that? The famous gamer, Masaryoshka. What? That's some basic trash talk. My ego couldn't allow her to get away with it. We went to a nearby arcade to fight it out. Choose your favorite game. I'm fine with whatever. You seem pretty confident. I'm gonna choose something I'm good at, okay? I said anything is fine. I want to get this over with quickly. Shiki chose a game that I had never played before. But I got the hang of it by checking the command list and looking on how the characters move. This is my choice. Whoever wins the first two games is the winner. 
We can change characters if we want to. Alright. It's kind of obvious that Cheeky, who had more experience at this game than me, would win the first game. One down. That was pretty easy. If I win the next game... Alright. Now I understand how this works. Huh? You understand what? I've won the second game. And the third game. Which made me come out on top as the winner. What? Why can't I win anymore? I told you. You're never going to be able to win against me. To be more precise, the reason you're weak is because you focus too much on your style. Huh? Style? You need to study the tricky moves that can complement your character's strengths. If you do that, you might be able to catch up with me. Why are you talking down on me like that? Well, at least in the gaming world, I'm way better than you. Alright, there's nothing else to talk about. I'm going home. Hey, wait a minute! Are you trying to run away with the win? I don't gain anything out of winning against you. Hopefully, Shika will stop challenging Masaryo Shika now. However, one week later, Shiki came up to me again. It's time for a rematch. I told you, there's no point. I'm not gonna let you run away with the victory. We ended up battling it out in the arcade again, but... <sighs> I lost again. You see, there isn't any point. There is! Gosh, you're so stubborn. I will admit that she's become stronger than before. I gave in to her pressure and kept on playing. And kept on winning. You seem to have put a lot of effort in, but you have a great weakness. Namely, you can't see your opponent's weaknesses. You probably didn't realize that you had a few chances to win, did you? Huh, I'm still gonna win the next game. She still wants to play? Oh my god! Every once in a while, she would keep on challenging me. She seemed to have studied the game a lot and was able to spot my weakness, but I win again. But I'm almost there! She comes so close to winning, but she still can't pull it off. Why don't you use all of that energy to go do something else? No, I'm here to prove to you that you can be successful both in the real world and in the gaming world. You're too greedy. That's what makes you incomplete. I'm gonna beat you and change your mind. She kept on challenging me, but I was starting to get fed up. So I tried to make it a little easier for her to win. But, finally... I lost. Congratulations on your first win. What's that? Huh? What? Wait, are you crying? You didn't give it all you've got. You're making fun of me. Um, no. I'm not making fun of you. Then why did you lose on purpose? She somehow realized that I let her win. She was really upset. Why is it so important for you to win against me? I'm just an unpopular kid at school. Because without winning against you, I can't prove that I'm right! Now that I think about it, for the past few weeks, Shiki's been spending most of her time putting in the effort to beat me. No matter how many times I beat her badly, she kept coming back stronger. She definitely is a hard worker who doesn't like losing. And she never even considers that she could be wrong. When I was in junior high, my friends began to stay away from me when they realized that I was a gamer. I was upset and decided to prove that I can enjoy both at the same time. I'm the one who's putting in the most effort, so why do I have to lose against you, someone who's just been running away from reality? It is true that she became the most popular girl at our school, while being the third best gamer in Japan. At this rate, I'm never going to be able to teach you a lesson and prove that you're wrong. What am I wrong about? You don't believe that you can become the best in the real world, just like you did in the game. Okay, so you want to shove your ideas down my throat, huh? If that's the case, I'm going to prove that you are wrong. What? What am I wrong about? Shut up and sit down. I'll play against you one more time, but I'm going to take this one seriously. I was mad at her. I beat Shiki once again, but this time, I didn't give her any chances. She challenged me again a few times but she realized that there was a huge gap between us. She understood that she could never beat me and let go of the controller. After a while, I'd calmed down, and I began talking to Shiki on our way home. I understand why you feel that way, because everyone has their own way of living, and it's wrong to forcibly make people agree with you on your own opinions. Besides, you've made a huge mistake. A huge mistake? 
playing online games is reality to me. What do you mean by that? There's always a real player on the other end of the screen. And I've always been playing seriously against all of these people from all around the world. Our biggest difference was that Shiki considered gaming as something that couldn't coexist with their so-called reality. But I consider gaming part of my reality. I told her how different our core values were. Hopefully, she understands that there's a definitive gap between us. And hopefully, she'll leave me alone from now on. However... But I'm still never gonna give up! Do as you wish. I can give you a beating whenever you want me to. For one month, Shiki kept challenging me every day. Before we even realized it, I was ranked number one, and she was ranked number two in Japan. I never considered her as my rival, but she kept on coming at me. I had to admit, she was making great progress. As we spent a lot of time together, our relationship began to change too. Shiki, why do we have to meet up on weekends? Can't we just play from home? Don't you think it's more exciting to play in the arcade though? I'm kindly considering your health. You're gonna start growing mold soon if you stay inside all the time. None of your business. Oh, are you blushing? Honestly, I couldn't concentrate when we played at the arcade, because people came up to watch us play against each other. That guy doesn't go easy on his girlfriend at all. He must really enjoy beating her up. But she's also pretty good. I'm jealous that he's a girlfriend who he can play games with. We're not a couple! I would never date her! We decided that whoever loses pays for dinner, but I'll pay for the meal. You can choose whatever you want. Why? Didn't I lose? I do make a pretty good amount of money from you two. And I never lose against you, so that would be unfair. Think of it as a treat for putting in so much effort. I don't need your pity. In the end, we decided to split the bill. While we were eating dinner. Oh? Is that cheeky? What? Are you friends with Masaoka-kun? Oh. Shiki's friends from our class. Oh, yeah. Um... Instead of hanging out with us, you were on a date with Masoka-kun, huh? Wow, you guys seem to be pretty close. I never knew you two were a couple. Um, this isn't a date. So, she still hasn't told her friends that she's a gamer. I thought she needed some help. So I said, don't get me wrong. I just wanted to talk about a few things with Ozawa-san. And what would that be? You see, I was wondering how I could be more cool, so that I can get a girlfriend. I said whatever came into my head, and... Gosh, Shiki, you gave up your weekend to give advice to Masoka-kun? You really are kind to everyone, aren't you? Oh, um... <laughs> yes. This looks exhausting. This is why I don't like having friends. On our way home that night? Good for you that they didn't find out. Now I owe you one, don't I? It's fine, but I wouldn't like that to happen again, so we should play from home. No, we're going out again, next week. Huh? Why? I don't want to lie to my friends, so I'm actually going to make you cool and get you a girlfriend. No, I'm fine, and I don't mind lying to your friends. What is she talking about? I'm already content with my life. Shiki and I became closer. I would say that we started to consider ourselves friends. For some reason, we spent all of our weekends together, and we would play at least one game per day, even if we didn't really have the time. That was our new daily routine. Ryoma, do you have any plans for this evening? Um, I want to check out a new game, so I'm going to the store. All right, me too. I don't mind if you want to tag along, but... I mean, doesn't she ever get fed up with being with me all the time? I'm not an entertaining person. Hmm? Is there something stuck to my face? No, just your face. What's that? <laughs> we gradually began playing more RPG games together instead of fighting games. We used to fight against each other all the time, but now we cooperate together. At first, it felt weird, but I began to enjoy supporting her from behind when she fights off enemies. By the way, Dioma... When are you going to marry me? What did you just say? I'm talking about this game. There are special quests and items only for married players. Hmm. You have a point. We decided to get married online. We began meeting up even more often in the real world. 
Shiki insisted that she was going to make me enjoy my real life. Today, I'm gonna choose some clothes for you to wear. Huh? No, I I'm fine. I wear whatever my mom buys me. You can't be doing that forever, if you want to become cool and get a girlfriend. I told you, I'm fine without that. And now, she's in my room. Yes, we made it! Our baby has been born! Can I choose its name? Okay, wow. So now we're mommy and daddy? Stop saying creepy stuff like that. I'm not talking about the real world, so why not? Just kidding. I'm kind of happy. What do you mean? I mean, why don't we become a couple and get married in the real world too? G You've got to be kidding me! I told you that I don't like lying. I already told you, I'm fine without that. As long as I can enjoy playing games. Hey, Dioma, let's move on to the next quest. All right. Nowadays, Shiki and I always spend time together, whether it's online or offline. I kind of feel like I'm enjoying my life better. But as I said, I'm fine as long as I can enjoy playing games. However, I do have a feeling that Shiki's going to complete me someday. But as for now, we're just good friends that like to play video games together. As I have informed you, she's your new team leader, Yua Hanasaki. She may look like this, but she's very skilled. Listen to her and do as she says. If I may say, section manager, what do you mean by, she looks like this, but... I would prefer if you did not treat me like a child. Oh, sorry about that. Jeez. Ahem. Hi, everyone. I'm Yua Hanasaki. I guess some may be confused as I am a team leader from a different team, but I hope I will be able to be a part of this wonderful team and make it the best. The person who introduced herself is the child senpai. She's been famous since I came into the company and is really cute and skillful. Not only is she skilled as a system engineer, but also is trusted by clients and often brings in projects. We all introduced ourselves to her so that she could get to know the team members. We introduced ourselves in turns, and it was my turn now. I'm Kanata Muto. I don't really have a programming language I'm specifically good at. Such a burden. As I introduced myself, the section manager glared at me and clicked his tongue. Like he said, my current boss thinks of me as a burden to the team. <laughs> section manager, I don't think that was an appropriate comment. It is power harassment. Oh! Hanasaki-san is trying to defend me. But the previous team leader wanted to change positions because he couldn't deal with him any longer. That doesn't mean you can say stuff to his face. Well, think of it this way. This team is really excellent, but he's the only one that's pulling everyone's legs. What would you call that, eh? Shouldn't we analyze why he is having trouble and then think of a solution? Then you do it. You are the team leader. I was going to do that anyways. Let's do our best, Muto. If you don't understand anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Thank you. I'll do my best. Apparently, the rumors were true. Hanasaki-san is a really nice person. I'm so glad I can work with someone like her, but... Oh, Hanasaki-san, I wanted to... Sorry, I've got to go. I don't have time until the next meeting. If there's anything you don't understand, just email me. Hanasaki left those words and went out of the room. Ever since the first day, she was like this, and she would always come back after hours. Because of that, some of the team members were getting stressed. I thought Hanasaki-san was going to make the team better, but she's not doing anything at all. So true. I thought she was supposed to be really reliable. I'm quite disappointed. She's one of those trusted people, so I bet she has been given loads of work to do. Hey, hey, it's not nice talking ill of your boss. Kanata-san, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to be so mean. <laughs> I know. We have lots to do today, so let's get going. Okay. The kind girls are starting to get stressed out. The absence of the team leader is making the whole team stressed. Hanasaki-san didn't seem like the type that can't manage her own schedule. <laughs> I see. This dirty old man. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, everyone's gone. Two hours into the after-hours, Hanasaki-san returned to the office. Judging from her attitude, 
She's probably panicking from the fact that she hasn't got a clue on how the team is doing. Hanasaki-san! Oh, Muto. Do you still have work to do? Kind of. I still haven't finished the section I want to complete by today. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry. I know you are busy, but could you update me on the team progress? The fact that I am working after hours means that I had not completed my tasks yet. But Hanasaki-san didn't move a single eyebrow hearing that. Maybe she just wanted to know about the team's progress. But perhaps not making a single disappointed face was her personality. Wow, our team really is excellent. Hanasaki-san was impressed at the progress the team had made. Everyone is around a week ahead of what they should be doing. We never know what will happen when we test the system, so being ahead really helps. But being ahead of time at this point in the process is quite plausible. Except me, of course. You are... okay. You aren't exactly behind schedule or anything, so don't worry. She was trying to cheer me up now that she knew I was quite behind the others. I'm not behind schedule, but I always work after hours and finish my tasks. Because I'm finishing the tasks with after hours and everyone is way ahead. It will probably look like I am left behind on the team to Hanasaki-san. I'm sorry. It's alright. Putting that aside, you really are skilled. You know each team member's progress. You might make a really good project manager. A project manager is an important role who directs and manages the entire project. Although it does sound like she was saying that I am not cut out to be a system engineer, but it seems like Hanasaki-san is the type of person who looks at what people are good at, rather than pointing out what they can't do. She's a truly kind person. And so yeah, I'm really sorry. I would like to help you with your other stuff, but I still have things I need to do. No, no, please. This is something I must complete, so... You do seem very busy. Well, yeah. Is there a problem? I don't know if you would call it a problem. I know. Are you free after work? What? Tomorrow is a holiday, so do you want to go drinking? Can you drink, Hanasaki-san? What's that supposed to mean? I'm older than you, you know. Don't treat me like a child. I mean, sure, I can't drink beer because it's bitter, but... This person is super cute. Hey, you smiled. I told you, don't treat me like a child. Yeah, I know. Do you really, though? I do, I do. Hmm, oh well. We need to work now anyways. Let's talk later. Hanasaki-san said that and sat down at her seat and started working. Wait, what? Muto's typing is way too fast. He is programming, right? He's typing the speed of making a normal document. Muto. Yes? Are you programming right now? Yes. Oh, okay then. Huh? Is it even possible to write a program at this speed? I was really curious about that. But right now, I had to focus on the task I was doing. Hmm, finally finished. Hanasaki-san finished her work around two hours later. Have you finished, Muto? Yes, I finished. Oh, sorry for making you wait. Wait, are you studying, Muto? Huh? Oh, yeah. It's a waste of time not doing anything while waiting, so... Oh, don't worry. I did log out of the system, so I'm not being paid for this. Well, I'm not worried about that. Are you okay? He's making an effort because I'm behind. He definitely has passion. He's just probably not doing it right. Oh, um, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go drinking then. I cannot believe that this nice boy is being treated terribly here at work. After I get everything out of the way, I will look after him and train him. But first, I need to praise him for working hard today. Hanasaki-san? Okay. Let's drink a lot tonight, Muto. Um, she did say we were drinking, but a lot? Uh, I can't drink anymore. I did try to tell you that you've had too much. Here, drink some water. It was okay until we got to the izakaya, but she was probably really stressed out. She was drinking like everything was water, so she turned out like this. The place was closing soon, so we had to go, but can you get home, Hanasaki-san? Huh? Yes, I can. What do I do? No, she can't. I want to take her to her home, but I don't know where she lives. Maybe she will tell me if I ask, but it felt kind of wrong to ask where she lives in this situation. But if I take her to a hotel, that will definitely cause trouble. After thinking about what to do with her, I decided to take her to my home. There we go. This is going to be troublesome when she wakes up. 
Every single option I had led to trouble, so I ended up bringing her here. She looks like the serious type, so she might be angry that I took her home. I wonder how I should explain this situation to her when she wakes up. She is kind, so I have a feeling she would smile and let things slide, but... What should I do? Huh? Oh, Muto. Oh, you woke up. Yes, do you need some water? <laughs> what? I was leaning in to see her face closely. She pulled my arms and I couldn't resist and fell onto the bed. Hanasaki-san! I'm proud of you, Muto. What? I'm proud of you for not giving in to all the things people say at you. It's alright. I get you. I understand you, even if others don't. She's trying to cheer me up. It's been a long time since someone has said something like that to me. My chest is very warm. I knew that this was not okay, but I couldn't resist and surrendered myself to Hanasaki-san. And... <gasps> I fell asleep like that, which made Hanasaki-san super confused. Why am I sleeping next to Muto? But she slowly remembered what happened yesterday and was able to calm down. She begged me to forget what happened yesterday. We were still busy with work every day, and we were both working late again. One day, I realized that Hanasaki-san was acting a little unusual. Hmm? Are you alright, Hanasaki-san? Oh, um, yeah, I'm fine. Well, you don't look alright. If you are sick, you should go home. But I need to finish this by today. It's fine. I'm just a little tired. <laughs> this isn't the system that our team is working on, is it? Yeah. I'm looking after another team, and that one is one step from failing. Have you been working on that since you were moved to this team? Yeah. Apparently the team leader for another team was hospitalized that day. So the section manager gave me the job. So that guy gave Hanasaki-san a project that was already failing and made her do the aftermath? He did seem very unfriendly to Hanasaki-san, so maybe this is some kind of harassment. Do you need to finish this that badly? Yeah. To be honest, I don't know if we can finish it by the deadline, even if I finish this today. I see. Let me just check the program. What? Could you tell me what the system is about and how you want to develop the system? No, you're not on the team. But it's about to fail, right? Maybe you could talk to the clients and settle this issue. But the failure of a project will affect the trust that the company has gained, so I don't want it to happen. But can you use this programming language? It's different from the programming language that this team uses. Don't worry, I know it. But you are... I know it feels uneasy since you've heard lots of rumors about me. But I want you to believe me, just this one time. Okay, I trust you. Hanasaki-san told me the general idea of the system, and she showed me the system blueprint. I built an image of how I wanted to do it and execute it. How? The program is being built so quickly. Muto, what in the world? Sorry, but we don't have time, so let me focus. Oh, sorry. That's right, I shouldn't interrupt. But this speed is unbelievable. Why is he treated like a burden? Plus, he writes everything smoothly, which means he memorizes all of these. Phew! We made it. How? How did he finish the whole program in this short amount of time? And the test run works perfectly! Well, if we test it a couple of times, we might find some errors. I'll do the tests if you need a hand. Oh, no, don't worry. This program was supposed to take longer, so... Thanks to you, we can make some time for test runs. But this speed... Was this the programming language that you were good at? Then why... No, it's like I said when I introduced myself. I don't have a specific programming language that I'm good at. But... but... but that... that speed! Huh? Do you mean to say that you're this proficient in another programming language as well? Well, not at all. But if it's a commonly used one, then yes. Who, who are you? Why do people think you are a burden? Sorry, I'm a little tired. I have an early morning tomorrow, so if you'll excuse me... Hey, wait! I didn't want to explain everything, but Hanasaki-san kept on asking me. But I thought that it was a little strange explaining it to myself, so I kept silent. The following day... Nagura-san, I decided to talk to the previous team leader about Muto. Oh, Hanasaki! 
What's the matter? Why didn't you tell me about Muto? He's so skilled. Why did you treat him like he was incompetent? Hey, don't say misleading stuff. Is there anyone on the team treating him like that? What? The only ones treating him like that are people like the section manager and above. In reality though, I think he's the most skilled engineer of all of us. But I heard that you got tired of Muto being incompetent. Well, you got that wrong. I didn't want to be his boss because he was so skilled. I thought that it was wrong that my subordinates were more skilled than I am. So I talked to the manager about that, but they just think I'm defending him. They think that he is incompetent because they only look at stats. I've told them that he is helping the other team members, but... He's helping the other team members? So you didn't know? He uses all of his working hours to help others. But why do such a thing? He is really good at taking care of people. But the main reason is because if you ask him, he solves them instantly. So everyone is relying on him. So he is doing his tasks only using after hours? Yeah, that's right. Projects progress much more efficiently that way. It's brilliant for us, but his part is a little too heavy. So I told him I would reduce his tasks, but he insists on doing his own part. And, well, he's stubborn. But so, that's why he uses his after hours to do his tasks. But then why doesn't he explain it to the section manager? I guess it's all just excuses for him. I think he doesn't want to blame things on the team members that rely on him. Why is he so stubborn? Oh, but it might also be that he doesn't like the section manager. Huh? So he is really skilled, but he is treated like he is incompetent because he is a nice person? So, you are the team leader now. If he quits, this company is going down, so try not to lose him. How irresponsible! I've been doing what had to be done, so I'll leave the rest to the young fellows. You're using that phrase wrong! I shouted at Nagara-san who was leaving. He completely ignored it though, but I see. Now I get it. He's so kind. By the way, he's really popular amongst young female employees, so you have lots of rivals. I wish you the best. What? What 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 what, what are you talking about? It's it's not like that. <laughs> I hope you get him. Nagara-san, you After that incident the other night, Hanasaki-san got less busy so she could come see us and see how we were doing. And... Muto, let's go and eat lunch together. She invites me to lunch every day. I get off early, so do you want to go and eat somewhere? And she invites me for dinner as well. She seems to have become fond of me after that one incident. I feel like I got a new little sister when I see her. Aww. Hanasaki-san invited me to drink at her house because tomorrow was a holiday. Um, once we started drinking, she seemed a little moody. What happened? You are treating me like a child, aren't you? Even though I told you that I am an adult! What? No, I don't! You do. You stroked my head earlier. You are definitely treating me like a child. Oh, well, that was... It was true that she looked cute like a little sister smiling up at me and talking to me. My hands automatically stretched towards her. It seems as though this action made her mad. Sorry. Oh, it's not that I didn't like being stroked. I was actually quite happy, to be honest. She was happy? Then what was the problem? I am older. I am an adult woman. So you need to see me as one. Well, um, you shouldn't say stuff like that even when you're drunk because I might misunderstand. It's not a misunderstanding. I like you, Muto. So I want you to see me as a female. Huh? Huh? But you always treat me like a child. I guess I'll have to make you understand. Wait, what are you doing? She suddenly started undressing, so I quickly turned around and yelled at her. I am a grown woman, you know. I know, so you don't have to prove it like this. No, stop with the excuses. Come here. Whoa! She grabbed me by the arm and pulled me over. Hold on, Hanasaki-san. <laughs> I'm going to teach you that I am an adult woman. She licked her lips as she said that. Obviously, we weren't dating, so I stopped her. After she was sober again, she was extremely sorry for what she had done. But after this incident, I could not see her as a cute little sister. I could only see her as an adult woman. And after knowing how she feels, I confronted her feelings. 
and after a month, we started dating. But that is a whole different story. I learned from this incident that I shouldn't judge women based on their appearances. I, Haruto Shinoyanagi, was hiding under my close friend's bed. The reason for this was because I wanted to surprise my friend, Kanzaki Yuki, for his birthday. We got close in our freshman year of college, and it's been six months since we started living together. Whew, I guess Haruto isn't home yet. I wonder if he's gonna be late again. Yuki's home. Good. Seems like he hasn't noticed that I'm already home. I wonder when I should get out to surprise him. At that time, I didn't realize what I got myself into. Well, I guess I'll get changed before Haruto comes home. He always comes home without knocking. It's kind of like he has no boundaries. It'd be terrible if he saw me changing. Come on, Yuki. What kind of person do you think I am? Besides, I'm not interested in watching males change. I haven't been wearing girlish clothes lately. I kind of want to, though. Huh? Yuki likes to dress up as a girl? But I mean, he has a girl-like facial structure, so I bet he'd actually look like a girl. Yuki had elegant facial features and had the face of a model. I'd actually like to see how he'd look dressed up as a girl. Haruto probably won't be coming home anytime soon, so I'll just get changed. He's gonna dress up! I definitely want to see this! Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Whoa, he seems to be in a good mood. What? He's wearing female undergarments too? Whoa! Who's there? Um, well... Haruto? What are you doing? <laughs> um, I was going to do a small surprise for you, but I guess I was the one to be surprised. Um, well, this is... I didn't expect you to have mastered the art of dressing up as a girl. Uh, what did you just say? Um, that you mastered the art of dressing up as a girl. What are you saying? Are you actually stupid? What? Your confused face is annoying me even more. C calm down. What are you so angry about? Because you're being dumb, Haruto. Um, what do you mean by that? Can't you see that I'm a girl? W what? Your reaction is over-exaggerated. Yuki, you're a girl? Yes, obviously. And that's super rude, by the way. B -b but when we first met, you said you were a boy. You just assumed that. I never said so myself. But you always talk and act as if you're a male. And what's wrong with that? Uh, uh, I, I mean, I guess that might make some people confused. Why didn't you ever clarify that you're not- I mean, we're living together, right? I thought it was safer to let you think I was a boy. Oh, right. I see. Besides, I guess it was also strange that we decided to live together right when we met. Uh, um, uh, yeah, that's also true. The two of us became roommates about six months ago. You're kidding me. Tokyo's rent is so expensive. What's that? There's someone that looks like their dog just died. What do I do? The cost of living is already high enough. And it's not like I can ask my parents for money since I moved here without their permission. Is there anything wrong? Huh? H who are you? Oh, she's pretty cautious around me. This huge luggage. Seems like she's moving here from the countryside. Oh, um, I was just wondering if you needed any help. You're pretending like you're worried about me, but you're planning to take me behind some sketchy building, aren't you? Why would I want to do that to a guy? Uh, a guy? Besides, I wouldn't do that even if you were a girl. But I heard that in the city, men that come up to strangers acting all friendly and smiling are sketchy. Where did you get that information? That's a horrible stereotype. I read about it in a manga. That's not reliable information. <sighs> Anyways... I'm sorry for talking to you so suddenly. It's understandable that you don't trust me since we just met. I'll stop butting in on your business. Whoa! Are you okay? I'm hungry. What? Uh... Wow, what an appetite. S sorry, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Even then, that's still a huge appetite. <sighs> I know food is expensive here, but I'm surprised you decided to skip meals to save money. Because I haven't found a job yet, so I'm tight on money. Oh, uh, thank you for the meal, by the way. I'm not sure if it's because I bought him food, but he told me that his name was Kanzaki-kun. 
and that he moved into Tokyo because he had always dreamed of living the city life. The fact that he decided to enroll in a university in Tokyo, even while fighting his parents that were against him, means he really must have wanted to live here. It did seem like he was hiding something else, but I wasn't comfortable enough with him to probe. But it seemed like he was having trouble finding a place to live, so I suggested a plan. If you're worried about a place to live, why don't you move in with me? Huh? W what Yeah, actually... The guy I was supposed to live in with got a girlfriend, so he's moving in with her instead. So I'm having trouble having to pay rent for two people by myself. I think that friend is terrible, and you should cut him off right away. Uh... <laughs> well, the place actually used to be my older brother and his girlfriend's place, but he moved out since they broke it off. The worst part is that he got a new girlfriend and moved in with her while leaving me to worry about the place alone. I swear I won't forgive him for this! Uh, um... Oh, um... Yeah, so it's basically expensive living there alone. And I thought it'd be a good deal if you could pay half the rent. Uh, I appreciate that you're offering me a place to live. But I'm not sure if being roommates is an easy decision. It's not? I mean, it seems like you're in trouble too. And we're both guys, so... I don't see where there's a problem. Um, I've been wanting to mention this since earlier, but... Well, I won't pressure you into anything. But from what you've told me, your budget's barely enough for a sketchy neighborhood. <sighs> but I'll offer half off on my rent. Isn't it half of the same thing if the place is originally meant for two people? Okay, I'll only ask for one-fourth of the rent. What? Really? I'm the one who's asking you to help me pay the rent in the first place so I'm okay with it. But won't you still have a hard time paying? At this rate, I'll end up paying everything alone, so I'd rather get some help than none. This guy is good at bartering, even though he's a nice person. He knew it'd be hard for me to pay half the rent, so he's only asking for one-fourth of the rent. This would actually be really helpful. Maybe I should keep letting him think I'm a guy? To be honest, I'm super thankful for this offer. Then... But I don't think I can take it. You're very stubborn. But at this rate, I won't have a place to live either, so... In exchange for only paying one-fourth of the rent, could I do household chores for you? The chores? Yeah, the cooking specifically. I think we'd be better off doing our laundry separately. But I can do the cleaning too. I see. That's a good deal. Hopefully she's not bad at cooking. So it's a deal then. And that's the story of how we started living together. But I can't believe I never noticed after six months of being roommates! I mean, I was pretty good at hiding it. Anyways, what are you doing in my room? Oh, um... I was going to surprise you with a birthday gift! A gift? Happy birthday, Yuki. You... remembered. Of course! Who would forget their friend's birthday? You are usually ignorant when it comes to other things. But you really are good at remembering special events. That doesn't sound like a compliment. I am complimenting you. This makes me really happy. Thank you, Haruto. Uh... Haruto? Uh... No. It's nothing. Hold on. Why is my heart beating... I've seen Yuki smile plenty of times! By the way, Haruto... Y yeah What's up? Can you get out of my room already? Huh? Why are you acting surprised? Let me get changed! Sorry. Phew. I never would have thought that Yuki was a girl. I must be clueless to not notice even when we lived together. Now that I think about it, Yuki did yell at me to go away whenever she took a bath or used the restroom, and did her laundry late at night. I guess this was the reason for that. But still, she had really clear and smooth skin. Haruto. Yeah? Oh, good. You're still there. Uh, how do I look? Uh... Why are you dressed like that? I mean, you know the truth now, so I thought it was okay. No, yeah, I mean, you look pretty. <sighs> uh, um... Why do you always say things like that so easily? You're the one that asked for my opinion. I'm shy, okay? She's unreasonable. But I'm relieved that Yuki is still Yuki, even though she's not a guy. What are you laughing at? Nah, it's nothing. By the way, have you opened your present yet? Oh, not yet. I thought that I should do that with you. Why? Are you going to complain about it if you don't like it? What kind of rude person do you think I am? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 
Plus, I bought a gift I know for sure you'd be happy with. Uh, oh, I'd be happy with anything. But now that you said that, my expectations are high. Yeah, go ahead and keep them high. Oh my god, how did you know? This is a limited edition figurine of Mirage Chan! Yuki was actually a big otaku. We spend every day together, of course I know what you want. But this was expensive, wasn't it? I got a big bonus paycheck, so it wasn't too bad. Wait, were you coming home late because you were working to buy me this? No, no, I told you I got a bonus. Why would I go through that much effort for someone I thought was a guy? Liar. I know you would work extra for a friend. You always treat me to dinner, and make the rent cheaper because you know I don't make much at my job. Thank you. Of course. Don't make a big deal out of it. I just wanted you to be happy. Thank you again. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll head back to my room now. Wait, my birthday is today. I know that. So, I want to go somewhere together. What? Can we? I mean, sure. What? What's going on? This isn't the usual Yuki. In fact, she's actually kind of cute. So, where do you want to go? I don't have anywhere planned. Oh, you don't? Yeah. Then I have a place. Why here? Yuki didn't know how to react when I brought her to an otaku street. You moved to Tokyo because you like this area, right? But you barely have time to come here. Well, yeah. I don't really have any money. Yeah, so I thought we should hang out here since it's your special day. I still have money from my bonus, so you can spend that however you want. But why? You're spending too much money on me. Are you doing all this because you found out that I'm a girl? You might be a little right. You're gonna admit it? But I always knew that you wanted to come. I felt a little bad that we never came here together. Oh, but I mean, that's my fault. That's also right. <sighs> but today's your birthday, so it should be special. It's my way of saying thanks for always cooking delicious food for me. See? How do you say things like that without being shy? What's wrong with what I said? I'm embarrassed! Oh, well, I guess. <sighs> Haruto, you're really clueless, aren't you? You give people butterflies, but you don't think anything of it. Uh... I'll say it straight up for you. You're stupid and completely clueless. What? No one ever told me that before, though. <sighs> How many girls have you hurt from being clueless? I... I don't think I have... It's the truth. And I think that there shouldn't be any more victims. You're making it sound like I'm a terrible person! So, for there to not be any more victims, I'll be your girlfriend. Huh? I'm saying, can you make me your girlfriend? My girlfriend? What? W why are you surprised? Because you like me? I yeah. I've liked you for a while now. But I needed to pretend like I was a boy, so I never said anything. I couldn't keep my feelings inside anymore, because you're doing all these nice things for me. Oh, I'm sorry, I never noticed. I told you, I was hiding it. Anyway, um, what's your answer? Well, as I tried to think of an answer, I thought back to the days I've spent with Yuki. We argued a lot because I thought he was one of my guy friends. But even then, there were a lot of fun days. Yeah, there's really nothing to think about. The past six months with Yuki have been extremely fun. Of course it's okay. I mean, like, please. I'd like you to be my girlfriend. R really You're not just saying that so you don't hurt my feelings? Why would I forcefully say yes for something as important as this? I really want you to be my girlfriend. I I'm so happy. I was starting to give up already. Thank you for telling me. You don't need to thank me. Besides, I'm the one that should be saying thank you. This was how the two of us, previously two guy friends, ended up in a relationship. To be honest, I couldn't even have imagined this turn of events the day before. But I'm positive that this is the start of a wonderful relationship. After that, I followed Yuki around doing whatever she wanted. We did cosplay and went shopping. We're probably going to go on many dates like this from now on. I'm not familiar with otaku life at all, but I want to start learning about it for my girlfriend. Mikami-kun, you've left dust here. I'm Satoshi Mikami. I'm in my second year in high school. This person, who's complaining about how I didn't clean up properly, is Hina Sakaguchi. People say that she's the cutest girl in our school. Why would you care about such a tiny amount? 
It's your duty to clean everything up. You need to be more accountable. Nobody would even notice the little amount of dust she was complaining about. Sakaguchi-san was known to be the quiet, perfectionist type. Hey, Mikami, does Sakaguchi-san dislike you or something? She sure is strict towards everyone, but isn't she a little extra harsh on you? Exactly. I was thinking the same. I also was feeling that she had something against me, but I can't recall doing anything to make her feel that way. She was often stricter towards me compared to other people. It seemed like she was going out of her way to find something to complain about. Hey, you guys, stop talking and get back to cleaning. Okay, calm down. I wanted to tell her to get to work instead of complaining about this, but I thought she would fire back even stronger, so I just did as I was told. On the next day, I was up late last night, so I slept longer than usual. I was almost late for class. You're pretty late today. Can't you come earlier? Doesn't matter, as long as I make it in time. You're already in your second year in high school. If you keep coming to class like that, the younger kids are going to copy you. Nobody even cares about me except you. You don't have to be so harsh on me. I'm not even late. I'm telling you, you're not going to make it on time one of these days. As long as you keep thinking that way. It was just a coincidence today. I'll be careful from now on, okay? She seemed to have forgiven me and walked away. I really didn't get it why she had to complain about such trivial things. That's a tough way to start the day. Yeah, it is. Recently, I felt like she was complaining about things that didn't even matter at all. At lunchtime? Mika Mika, are you eating a sandwich from the school store again? I was enjoying my lunch. Yet again, Sakaguchi-san came over to bother me. Am I not even allowed to choose what I eat for lunch? You could be having trouble getting up in the morning because you aren't getting enough nutrients. Now you got me worried about what you eat at home on a daily basis. And I think that's none of your business. Although, it is true that my parents are gone for a while because of work, so I may not be eating perfectly healthy. I knew it. Do you cook for yourself? Not really. But why do you even care, Sakaguchi-san? I know it's none of my business, but I just can't stand people who are lazy. That's unfair. If you don't want me to bother you, you better live a proper and healthy life. She didn't hold back anything. She said what she wanted to and walked away. Now I'm convinced that she doesn't really care what it is. She just complains about anything just for the sake of it. I even felt that she could have some malicious intent for complaining about my private life. After class, on my way home, I walked into a convenience store to get some food for dinner. As I was looking around the bento box area, someone began talking to me from behind. Are you checking out the bento boxes? Are you thinking of eating one of those for your dinner today? T takaguchi san Why are you here? That's irrelevant. Anyways, don't you think you should cook something yourself? Isn't that even more irrelevant for you? I already told you I can't stand it when people are being lazy. Is that the kind of stuff you always eat when nobody's there to cook for you? Why not? I don't cause any trouble on someone just by eating unhealthy things. You're causing me to stress out. I'm not saying you should never eat ready-made food. I'm just saying that it's unhealthy to eat that kind of stuff every day. Why do you care so much about me? Can't you just leave me alone? Nope. It's not good to be making easy choices all the time. I'm going to fix your attitude on life. Huh? Wait! Sakaguchi-san grabbed my arm and pulled me out of the convenience store. I didn't understand what was going on as she brought me over to the supermarket. At home. Do you even clean up? Oh my god. After we got groceries from the store, Sakaguchi-san said that she was going to teach me how to cook. I thought it had to be a prank or something. Didn't you tell me that your parents left two weeks ago? I hope you used the vacuum cleaner at least one time since they left. No, I haven't. Wow, I'm at a loss for words. You rely too much on your mother. I'm not gonna deny that, but it's just how my family works. It's got nothing to do with you. And I came here to fix that. Think of it as doing something good for your parents. You have to clean this up. All right, I will. I didn't like the way she was bossing me around, but she did have a point that I was relying too much on my parents, so I didn't complain much. I probably should have been helping out with the house chores a lot more. I'll take that into consideration from now on. Sakaguchi-san kept staring at me as I vacuumed all the rooms. I thought she was going to find something to complain about, but she didn't say anything. 
I was cleaning up properly, so she probably had nothing to complain about. Sakaguchi-san seems to have the wrong idea. I'm going to show her that I can get things done if I put a little bit of effort. Sakaguchi-san must think that I can't do anything at home. But that's not true. It's not that I can't. It's that I don't. She wouldn't believe me if I told her. So I decided to prove her wrong by showing her. Sakaguchi-san, you told me you're going to teach me how to cook, right? Well, there's no need for that. You can just sit back and make yourself at home while I cook you some food. Can you cook, Mikami-kun? I'm not bad at it. Leave it up to me. I decide to cook dinner without any of her help. I didn't cook often, but occasionally, I would prepare my own dinner for myself. She said she was going to teach me how to cook Japanese-style fried vegetables. But that's one of my best dishes. Here you are. Wow, you actually can cook. Sakaguchi-san looks surprised at my dish. She considered me as a lazy guy who wasn't able to do anything around the house. So her reaction was pretty obvious. She came here to teach me how to cook, but now she knows that there's no need to. This tastes so good. Why didn't you tell me that you were a good cook? There was no point of me coming here. Would you believe me if I told you so? Hmm. <sighs> Sakaguchi-san was at a loss for words. She was always looking for an opportunity to nag me, so there was no way she would have believed me. Sorry, I must have had the wrong idea about you. Thanks for admitting that, but I do slack off a lot, so you weren't totally wrong after all. Fascinating when it comes to cleaning up and cooking and that kind of stuff. But now, I think I should work harder. But I've been causing you trouble for no reason. I also thought so in the beginning, but you ended up giving me the opportunity to look back on my actions and realize that I rely too much on my parents. I'll start doing the house chores by myself from now on. I'm happy to hear that I was able to help you. Yes, but you were a little too harsh on me sometimes. But everything you said ended up helping me. Now, I can genuinely appreciate Sakaguchi-san's opinion. Thanks to her, I was able to make up my mind to better myself. When we finished eating, I was lashing rain outside. Sakaguchi-san asked me if she could stay a little while until the rain calms down a little. So now, we're spending a little extra time together. Sakaguchi-san, you're pretty good at playing games. Is that a surprise? I thought you were the type of person who doesn't play games. Sakaguchi-san requested to play a video game, so we decided to kill time by playing a puzzle game. She happened to have the same game at home, so it was an equal match. What kind of impression did you have? Well, you always take things seriously and are pretty strict. So I thought you wouldn't be spending much time having fun. That's not true. I enjoy my time outside of school. I also like listening to popular music. Is that so? Well, I only listen to foreign music, so I couldn't tell you what's popular nowadays. Are your English grades so good because you listen to a lot of English songs? That's definitely one of the reasons. Initially, I just like the different kinds of melodies but I gradually began to get interested in the lyrics and started to study English harder. It's great to have a hobby that complements your studies. I find English hard, so I'm jealous. You find it hard? I always thought you were good at everything because you're always at the top of the class. I'm at the top of the class because I put in a lot of effort before the exams. It's not that I'm super smart. Well, you still get high scores, so you have to be really smart. Sakaguchi-san and I, went on talking about a lot of things from school to hobbies. It was the first time for me to have a proper conversation with her. It felt quite refreshing to see new side of her. Sakaguchi-san, it's getting pretty dark outside, but shouldn't you be going home? When we were so focused on our conversation, it had become very late. It was still raining heavily outside, but it could keep on raining like that until midnight if we just kept waiting. Mikami-kun, can I stay for the night? What? You know that I'm the only one here tonight, right? Are you telling me to walk home in the dark when the weather is so bad? It can't be helped. You're such a cold person, kicking out a girl from your house like that when it's rain and thunder outside. Am I wrong? I just thought you should go home because it's not impossible to. You want to kick me out so badly, don't you? I'm not talking about kicking you out. I'm talking about getting you home safely. So you're not worried about me? I am worried about you. 
But I don't think a young girl like you should be staying at a guy's place without any parents around. What's the problem about that? I mean, don't you feel any sort of anxiousness? Why would I? Why? I wasn't intending on doing anything to her, so she was right that there was no problem. And her safety wouldn't be guaranteed if she went home in the rain while it was so dark outside. All right then, if you're fine with it, you can spend the night here. Thanks, that helps. I don't know if it's that she trusts me or she just doesn't consider me as a grown man. But she seemed to have no problem spending the night with me. My mom's room was empty, so I decided she could stay there. Wait, why is my heart pounding? Sakaguchi-san said she would like to go into the bath, so I handed her my mom's pajamas and let her go in first. I hadn't thought this through enough. Now that the girl is taking a bath at my home, I realize how absurd the situation was. The only reason she's staying here is because she wasn't able to go home, and that's it. It was true that we became a little closer, but Sakaguchi-san is just another classmate. She was always so strict against me, so there's no way she would have any special feelings for me. Thanks for the bath. I was stunned at Sakaguchi-san when she came back to the room. She looked even sexier when she came out of the bath. No wonder everyone calls her the cutest girl in our school. Mikamikan, is something wrong? N no Nothing? I'll be taking a bath now. See you later. I tried to hide that I was attracted to her and quickly left the room. Okay, Sakaguchi-san, you use this room. When I came out of the bath, I brought her to my mom's room. At this point, I had regained my calmness. Mikamikan, thanks for letting me stay, even though it was so sudden. Good night. Yeah, good night. Sakaguchi-san was her usual self. I hope that she would feel at least a little something, but I guess it's all the best that she can go to bed feeling safe. I woke up during midnight and felt something on my arm. What? I looked to my side and found Sakaguchi-san sleeping right beside me. She was holding my arm and was fast asleep. I was in a panic. Did she sleepwalk over here? No, that's impossible. Does that mean she came here on purpose? Why would she? Because I moved my body, Sakaguchi-san woke up. Our eyes met. What are you doing, Sakaguchi-san? Mikamikan, why didn't you come over to my room? Huh? Sakaguchi-san's voice was so calm. I was about to think that I was the one who was out of my mind. A girl is staying at your place when your parents aren't around? Wasn't it obvious what you were supposed to do? I was waiting for you the whole time. No. Wasn't the reason I let you stay here? Why can't you realize my feelings? I had to muster up a lot of courage to ask you if I could sleep over. I thought you wanted to stay because it was dangerous to go home in the rain. Whatever the reason is, I would never stay at a guy's place if I didn't like him. You're so dense. So, you like me? Too late. I was waiting for the whole time for you to make a move on me, but I had to come myself. I couldn't believe when I saw you were fast asleep. Her confession was a big surprise for me. Until just a few hours ago, she was complaining about how lazy I was. And now, she's in my bed. It was hard for me to take everything in. But why so suddenly? You were always strict towards me. I thought you hated me. I never disliked you. I had a crush on you even before we ever talked for the first time. The first time she came over to talk to me, was when our second year began. We were in different classes in our first year, but I knew Sakaguchi-san because she was famous. The first time she talked to me was also a complaint. Mikamikan, last year when I was going home after class, I saw you helping out a foreigner who was lost. I thought it was cool that you were able to help people out so effortlessly, even when they don't speak Japanese. I saw you were wearing your school uniform, so I knew you were a student here. And ever since then, I was trying to find you at school. I remembered that incident. I saw a person who didn't know what to do when a foreigner began talking to them in English. So I went over to give some help. I never thought that you liked me for such a long time. But if that's the case, I would have liked you to be a little more kind to me. That way, I would have been able to realize her true feelings and understand today's situation better. Sakaguchi-san must have been acting like that because she felt shy or embarrassed. And as the person on the receiving end of all those complaints, 
It was hard to switch my emotions just like that. Are you angry? I'm not angry. I'm just a little confused. Can I have some time to think about this? I used to try and stay away from her as much as possible because she kept on nagging me about things. But after spending a whole day with her, the impression I had of her changed. Now I owe her for teaching me how to become a better person. But I still need a little more time to consider if this was love or not. All right, I'll be waiting for your answer. Sakaguchi-san understand how I felt, and she went back to her room. I was surprised when she came into my bed, but we ended up sleeping in our own beds. Next morning, when I came downstairs, I found Sakaguchi-san had prepared breakfast for us both. Morning, Mikamikan. Morning. So, you prepared breakfast for us? She always had a firm expression on her face, but today, she seemed to be a little looser. I enjoy doing things for my crush. In fact, I wouldn't mind actually moving in here and living with you. Isn't it a little too fast to do that? Too fast? Which means someday I can? I'll think about it. Sakaguchi-san's attitude towards me changed. Now she has a smile on her face. As long as she's open about her true emotions, I'll be able to take her seriously. In fact, it probably won't take much time until we start a relationship.